This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. We're going to be taking a look at Adobe Photoshop Elements 4.0, specifically the Cookie Cutter Tool. Cookie Cutter Tool is a really cool tool in Photoshop Elements 4.0. Here I got a picture of this little girl. The Cookie Cutter Tool is found right over here in the Tools palette. It looks like a little heart. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to come over here. You can see up here is your cookie cutter options. I can click on this little options drop down, find the exact shape I want. In this case, I'm going to do a heart. I'm going to activate this heart right here. I'm going to drag out a heart. Now, if it's not in the right exact perfect spot, you can always hold down the space bar on your keyboard. Now, don't let go of your mouse button. So you're holding down both the mouse button and the space bar. The space bar frees it up so you can move it around. Let go of the space bar and you can resize. Hold down the space bar and move it around. But you must be holding down both the space bar and the mouse button. So I'm going to place that right perfectly. Um, again, I'm holding down the space bar. I'm going to place that right in here. Drag that out a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to let go of both. You can see the cookie cutter tool cu cut out everything except for that area within the cookie cutter. Now I can move this around. You can even move it around after the fact. You can see I'm moving that around. I can even resize it to make it larger. Once I think I'm happy with it, I'm going to hit enter. Once you've hit enter, you can get your move tool and actually physically move the whole cookie cutter this time. So I can move that right into the place I want it to. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit control Z a couple times. And that will undo. Control Z is undo. Or you can also hit this blue arrow up right up here, and that's undo as well. What I want to show you is that you're not just stuck with those shapes that you first saw. So I'm going to go to my cookie cutter tool. I'm going to click the little drop down next to the shapes. And you can see you might not even see the same shapes as me because I've loaded an additional library. We well, see there's this little round flyout right out here to the side. You click on the flyout, and there's all kinds of different libraries. Characters, faces, flowers. In fact, let's go to the flowers. So there's the flowers, and there's a nice little rose. I'm going to double click the rose drag out the rose on top of the girl's face and there you go there's a whole different cookie cutter so there's all kinds of different libraries that you can use just by hitting that little round fly out I'm happy with this I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and get my move tool and then I can move it wherever I'd like this is great for making signs and logos and buttons and all kinds of neat stuff so again this is Scott with tutorialstop.com using the cookie cutter Photoshop elements 4.0 Hope you learned something.